they have, they have math on here too. Momentum equals mass times velocity. I have no idea what that is, but we're here at the redneck range and we're gonna try some of that math out on some shit. You know you're crazy when you have a funny conversation with yourself. <laughs> but, okay, anyways, serious business. I got this awesome uh, ammo from uh, Seismic. Uh, I wish I should have filmed myself like on uh, uh, opening the box because I was like, dude, this stuff's so cool. And it really, truly is. Uh, I was gonna, I'm gonna do a whole different video with this. This is uh, the 12 gauge, uh, two and three quarter. Uh, 2.5 ounces so that comes out to like a, over it's right around 1100 grains uh, this thing when you open this it's kind of hard one handed here I'll get them open in a minute here but the slug itself the shotgun shell when you hold it it's comical how heavy it is <laughs> it's ridiculously heavy I'm probably going to shoot one today <clears throat> me and my buddy John, we're gonna, uh, we'll do some more. Maybe tomorrow, hopefully. I'll see. But anyway, I really wanted to try this. This is our 9mm. It's NATO. So you gotta watch because not all 9mm will shoot NATO. I got my uh, Model 92 here. It will shoot NATO ammo. I, I think it's a little bit bigger because, like, my Smith & Wesson, it will not chamber. Like, it can. It's really tight, though. Uh, but anyway, this is 185 grains. So you get uh, 20 plus one. They give you this nice little display here. And I'll open this box, but this ammo is beautiful. My only regret is I didn't buy more because it's not that expensive. For five shotgun shells, it was uh, $12.99, which isn't bad for what it is for like specialty ammo. This here was, uh, I think $29.99, 30 bucks for hollow points. I mean, these are crazy hollow points. Uh, and like I said, just a display of them. I don't know if you can reload these or not. Probably not, but... Uh, and they have, they have math on here, too. Momentum equals mass times velocity. I have no idea what that is, but we're here at the redneck range, and we're going to try some of that math out on some shit. But yeah, I don't know. I'm actually up here, I was going to do a completely different video in this came in the mail, I was just so, I mean, I was like fully cocked when this, <laughs> I opened the box, I was like, hell yeah, so let me get set up, we'll try it out, alright, uh, except if you, I don't know what video goes up first, but let's just check them out, they're cool, <laughs> it's so cold, man, I was doing like a, a cheap man's torture test on how cold these guns will work, I think, yeah, this will probably go up after this video, I don't know, whatever, anyway, <clears throat> so I was saying, the presentation of these are pretty badass, man, I mean, this thing even has an S on there for Superman. These are Superman slugs. He'll kill Superman. <laughs> They're two and three quarter. Uh, like, it's over a thousand feet a second. And then you get a nice little display, a little nine millimeter. But check out them hollow points there. So I got, uh, got the old Chrono set up down there in the propane tank. Oh, that's so cold. And then we're just going to just try them out. I'm going to do a different video of these and everything. And, but I, I had to try them. Okay, I got a current graph. Hopefully working. They're kind of off center there. Let me look how good they look in there. Badass. 911, never forget. Inside drop. I mean, whoa! Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's see here. Oh man, that was pretty nice. Ah, uh, the current graph didn't catch it. It didn't kick bad. That had a hell of a dent there, though. Let me try one more. So when all else fails, just get dangerously close, <clears throat> and it should work. Right. Try to get a little closer, even. Uh, okay, so what we have here is uh, they hit a little bit low, maybe because they're heavy, and I should have realized that, because you can see where that first one hit. <laughs> uh yeah chrono is chrono no more is it, it's chrono it <laughs> i can't make this shit up dude 
Oh, my crown no. no! Oh. I mean, it was bound to happen. So, these bullets... <laughs> these bullets... I see part of the slug over there. Uh, these bullets, if you do get them, they hit low. They hit low. Because, uh... Yeah. They hit low. Yep. This part of the slug, though, that's, that's pretty sweet. The jacket. I mean, they're good bullets. They hit low. God damn it. Alright, so now we've got the seismic 12 gauge slug up. Look how good that looks in there. They make nice ammo. Uh, we will not be getting a chronograph reading. <laughs> I actually found a slug back by the truck, too, man. That's <laughs> like, yeah, that was close, huh? Alright, so let me try to. Let me see how you guys look there. Sorry, I'm by myself today, obviously. Like always. that bad I mean it definitely rattled though it definitely hit hard let's go see it wasn't bad Woo. maybe out a single barrel might be it is icy out here old propane tanks been taking a baiting Hank Hill would be my head right now oh I think this is the side we hit uh, did not penetrate, but that is one hell of a dent, though. I mean, that thing hit with some serious energy. Pretty sure that's it. This thing been hit with quite a few slugs. Yeah, that was that side. I said the buckshot in the other video went through. It was speed. I mean, like I said, these things ain't that fast. I mean, it's still a thousand feet a second, supposedly. I wouldn't know because my chronograph died. <laughs> but, uh,. Yeah, there you have it. We're going to do some more testing. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. And then, uh, yeah, there it is. Whew. It's cold. I can't even hit the freaking stop button.